Hi, I hope everyone is well. My name is Chris Hendricks, and today I'll be showing you guys how trend lines and price action works, and probably how it works best. So make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, now let's get into it. So I'll be showing you guys uh, a trade that I recently took. So I'll just jump into my Google Drive. Uh, so I was trading Canadian dollar against the Swiss franc. Uh, as you can see, the price was bullish, very bullish. It just had this huge bullish movement to the upside. So, um, I'm going to show you guys how I ended up taking that trade. So, I'm going to jump into my trading view platform and get the pair. So, this will be uh, showcasing how we backtest our strategy and how we keep uh, evolving with our strategy. So just make sure you tune in, watch till the end, uh, as this video is for educational purposes. So if you're intrigued on learning, uh, this is good material to start with. Uh, anyway, so I have a few basic principles that I, or steps rather, that I need to uh, go through with every time I analyze so basically I'm just gonna jump into the daily uh, time frame and check my highs and lows so uh, the one that is uh, obvious is the low uh, so we're gonna focus on the current market we're not gonna scale back to uh, years from now so basically this is what we're working with and that is our low so now we need to get our high of the current market which is probably this point um okay so that was the first step that i take and then the second step is that i basically figure out my structure from that point so I'm going to get the trend line tool and draw my resistance as well as the support, right? But then you can see the market really didn't, it didn't touch here, right here as well. But then it's fine as long as you get the, uh, the structure itself and figure out what the touches are. They don't really have to try touch the trend line as you can see this was the first uh pull back and uh, or rather touch to our uh, support we had the second one here and the third one so meaning from this point we had the highest probability it had more confluence and we had a few uh uh, flags or patterns to go to the upside uh, the first one was uh, so I want to make this a quick video so I'm not gonna jump into all the individual time frames so we had the first uh, flag right here as you can see we had a pullback in the daily time frame two consecutive candlesticks uh, which were bullish, which was uh, enough confluence for us to validate this uh, pattern, this bullish pattern right here. And we had a distinct support as well as the resistance, so that was uh, very safe to the upside. And so when you scale back up, you can see that we also had this corrective movement here right after the huge impulse to the upside so uh this part was uh, a bit choppy but then it still made sense you had this first pullback or touch second touch and as you can see here it, although it didn't get to our support uh we can still regard this as the third touch to the upside So, with all those uh, 
patterns and confluences it is uh enough for us to uh basically determine the direction it's an up trend uh, this is a continuation of an uptrend continuation of an uptrend continuation of an uptrend basically we are waiting for the price to well not waiting rather but predicting the price to reach this high and for all those uh, bullish setups uh, between the support and basically this high it is where we are going to be taking uh, bullish uh, opportunities so basically this was the first one that I could recognize probably the second one but I would have left this one out uh, the set the third one and the fourth one so uh, the trade that I took was basically based off uh, the third the fourth rather the fourth uh, opportunity so okay just hold on I was just confirming that everything is still fine so I basically took my trade here and the anticipation was that it's gonna reach this high this higher side so I'm just gonna jump into the four hour time frame and slowly get to the one hour time frame so as you can see in the four hour time frame we had a huge bullish movement and followed by uh, a corrective phase in the market and we the corrective phases is where basically we um, base our trades they offer decent uh, uh, entries uh, due to like confluence and everything so that is our support and resistance right there so it's it's a very simple uh setup remember that the market moves in uh, uh, a series of impulses corrections impulses corrections impulses so every time you see a corrective phase two things could happen it could mean it's a continuation to wherever the direction may be or a turn of direction so basically you get an impulse regardless every time every time a correction has formed so in this case the correction is continuous to the upside so the prediction was to have buying opportunities which uh, the market really gave us one which was uh quite amazing if you ask me so uh basically uh it's the same concept you have a series of three touches at the uh, support first second third as you can see even though this one didn't really touch the trend line but then if you use it horizontally you can somehow adjust it to to all touch and then you could say this is an inverse head and shoulders with uh, uh, let me just show you guys how it look with the middle part as the head that protrudes through uh, the, the support basically so you could have seen this uh just hold on so you could have seen this through multiple uh patterns or uh whatever you want to call them but that actually that actually gives it more confluence because now you have more reasons for you to to buy 
so we can just uh, scale uh, down to see what really happened on the third touch where we basically executed our trade before the whole uh, momentum happened so this is the part that we're focused on right here and we are going to focus on the candlesticks themselves as they offer reversal turning signals or or just uh, confirmation so basically you could see that at our rejection uh, Okay, let me just remove this block. So at our rejection, you could see the lowest uh, point was this candlestick here. And as you can see, it has uh, forms of uh, being a reversal candlestick. You can see it's a middle bar. Uh, it, has, it had the lowest low out of uh, the five bars, which is this one. Uh, which is number one, number two, number three, which is the middle, four, five. It had the lowest low, and it was a turning or a reversal uh, candlestick, which is enough confirmation for you to buy. So basically, these five candlesticks determine for you determine the entry. Uh, and right after all these five candlesticks formed, which happened in a period space of five hours, I executed my trade. Reason being, uh, the metal bar was it had the lowest low, and it was a turning or a reversal candlestick. Uh, and then the rest uh, of the candlesticks had were were higher, which means this whole uh, reversal had. Uh, a ton of confluence it's at the third touch it it's the lowest uh, candlestick at the reversal it's literally a reversal candlestick so there's just so much confluence and these two uh, bullish candlesticks that were like happened right after each other posed more confluence so you really need to uh, look into candlesticks and what they mean basically because they give you a very strong signal for you to execute your trade so um, right after that formed I took my trade to the upside right after that point so I'm just gonna zoom out and you can see the price just shot up so basically, this all you have to do now is decide which uh, lot size we're using. Because this was such an obvious trade, or a safe trade rather, not obvious, a safe trade to take. Uh, you could have uh, uh, utilized with your lot size, you could have went crazy. And hopefully got uh, good uh, returns but uh, that is the setup that is how trend lines work it's very basic it's very simple all you have to do is make sure every time you go through with the uh, principles and stick to the rules and hopefully you also get it right just like I do um, so yeah, that is it for the video, just to make another reference. Um, you can see, uh, okay, this was a, so the server with my broker, it's, it's a bit different compared to the trading view charts. So the, the candlesticks formed a bit different, but you can see right after my entry, the price didn't really go down, it just shot up. So, that is it for today's video. Uh, I just finished it at like 6.09 in the morning. Uh, trying to get some work done. So, uh, 
thank you guys if you watch till the end make sure you subscribe once again um like the video you can leave your comments uh we do respond to comments so make sure you uh do throw in your questions if you have any inquiries regarding this or anything in general with uh that has to do with forex or trading uh including mentorship so you do that uh to the next video thank you guys